So hello and welcome to another video by Fitness Technology Services. So this video is going to be kind of short and sweet. Um, this is the elliptical I've done a lot of videos on and I did a full scale um, how to maintenance your uh, sole elliptical. You should look that up. But anyway, at that particular time, the elliptical was in a lot better shape. And so a lot of times with the ellipticals, when they either get sweat down on these rails, or in my case, if the rails get wet and very then very dry, it makes a loud squeaking noise. And a lot of people think that um, there's something really bad with their machine. In essence, it is just the wheel squeaking in it. All right, so you hear that high squeak? So I'm going to clean them, and that's probably going to get rid of some of it. But really, the simple little fix to that is, um, uh, I guess you can see that pretty good, this lubricant right here. Uh, a lot of people sell it. We sell it on our website at um, www.fitnesspartspro.com. Anyway, little advertisement there. But um, you can almost put anything on here. But I found that this makes it quiet. So with that kind of results, I kind of always go with this. You're basically just lubricating it. And I guess if it gets noisier, then you would just wipe that lubricant down and use some other kind of lubricant. But I know this makes it quieter. Now, I'm not going to clean it all up or anything. I'm going to wipe the wheels down a little bit because once it gets lubricated and maybe the rails, I don't want any other dirt or debris to uh, debris to uh, stick on it. All right. So let me see if I can get over here. Not in your way. We okay with that? All right. So I'm just gonna wipe down this one side because you know, you're gonna know you should wipe down both. Now, as you notice, I removed the cover and in all honesty, probably lost it somewhere. You'll see that on a video I just did on changing the steel cable on this machine. I couldn't find the covers. So if I was going to admit that failure then, I'll admit it now. So we're just going to roughly clean this. Roughly clean this. Go over here a little bit. You want like a light, thin coating on there. You can see all that rust from me neglecting this machine. So we'll see what I can do to it now as far as uh, restoring it back to its glory. I'm going to wipe this side down real quick. All right. So I'm just basically going to put a pea-sized drop on each one of these rails. Kind of rub it in a little bit. And that's really going to be about it. This stuff is uh, also good for their treadmills. But again, a lot of people debate with me all the time. So when all lubes the same, does it matter? So I'm not really here to argue that point. But I know on these particular rails, this lube makes it quiet and other lube does not. All right, so, so far I've used, I'll show you better on this other side over here, two tiny little pen size drops, really. Not so much. All right, so I got it out of the rail just so I can um, lube it a little bit. You see, this has got the upgraded rail on it to keep it from falling off track. Just a little bounce. Not quite a piece of size, but by the time I'm done rubbing it all in, it'll be a piece size. So I'm going to go back right here. And I actually get um, quite a few service calls over this, both warranty and non-warranty, where people really think, and it sounds bad, I admit. So that's it. Here's the top. Got in your way again, sorry about that. So, but it's a pretty simple fix. Definitely don't need a, um, a service guide for this. 
or at least you should try this first before you worry about some kind of internal noise. All right? So now you can hear all the noises in the inside, but that's not this video. Look, what did I do, really? Not so much, huh? So uh, that's all this is. This video is to uh, show you the importance of uh, lubricating your rails and your wheels at the same time. I should have done it without even cleaning it just to show that it's really the lube that does it. But I didn't want to take the chance on getting my wheels mucked up. I thought they'd come out just perfect like this. All right, so that's really it for this video. Uh, short and sweet, nice and easy. But this is definitely something you should do on your own before you call a uh, service guy out. Pretty simple to do. All right, look forward to doing another video for you guys again. Um, thanks a lot, and I'll see you shortly.